Yo fam, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we got a really neat thing that we're gonna do today to the regular cab, the six speed G56 Cummins. And I think you guys are gonna really, really like this upgrade. It's gonna basically really help the interior tie into actually feeling like a Laramie or a Limited or something that's a higher trim level truck because this truck was an SLT so it had like some of the nice features like power folding mirrors and like the really nice gauge cluster with all the digital instrumentation and just all kinds of cool stuff but didn't have Uconnect or the navigation system or any of that stuff so we are going to be installing basically an OEM Longhorn slash Limited slash Laramie like whatever the trucks you know had for that Uconnect system. We're gonna retrofit that into this truck. It should have the retrofit kit wiring and all that stuff. Now this kit came from infotainment.com. It was not a sponsorship part. This kit cost me, I think, $2,200. I think it'll be well worth it because, well, that truck could be yours and I think you might like having it. Yes, you heard me correctly. We are giving away this 2015 G56 6.7 Cummins with $5,000 cash. And until June 12th only, you can get 10X entries towards winning this truck. Trucks hardly got over 25,000 miles. 2015. Rocking the American Force wheels. The Fury MT tires with a nice thick meaty sidewall, mind you. We're not stretching them. Not really a fan of that. And this truck could be yours. Every five dollars is ten automatic entries towards winning this truck right now, but that deal ends in one week. Well, let's get started with the installment of the new system in the truck. Now, the system that's in the truck is not a bad system. I actually kind of like it. It's very, very, very simple. You hit me if you want to use Bluetooth or, you know, an aux cord, which it's got the hookup in here. Um, you've got radio and you can make phone calls still and it's got settings to change the clock. That's super easy and a bunch of just other random stuff that I like. But we're going to swap this out with a nicer, newer, more modernized you connect system that actually fits the 2013 slash 14 ish years up until the 2018 trucks. So that's what we're going to be doing. We took this little plastic tab off from up here and there is a couple of little star bit Torx head bit screws up there that you got to remove to take off the main plastic bezel itself. But the whole thing kind of just clips out and there should just be some harnesses you unplug. Then you plug back into the retrofit kit and install it. Sounds really easy, but we're gonna find out because I haven't installed it yet. Let's get to it. I think it'll be a really nice subtle change, but it'll make the truck feel more like a high trim level pickup, which is what we want. And keep in mind, we are throwing the limited style leather interior in this truck. It's getting black perforated seats with charcoal stitching. It's gonna be epic. We're just waiting for the leather shop to get it in so we can drop it off to get installed. Now, like I said, this truck it does have this little screen here and it's got a lot of you know basic features and we will uh we'll turn it on so you can kind of see some of those basic features this is like again this does have you connect but it's a very 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 dumbed down version of it you've got radio you've got media no devices connected of course right now you can click media again it'll go to you know whatever usb or bluetooth you got your little compass. You got some other settings for your display, clock and date, audio, Bluetooth, phone, whatever, data. Basically like a normal radio, but it has a little screen instead of just a dial. So pretty much that's the only real difference. What we're gonna start by doing is undoing these screws up top here. Let's see if we can get this bezel removed. Well, here we are so far. Definitely not done, but this has definitely not been a very hard process at all. Very, very simple. It's not screwed in place. I just wanted to make sure that it was properly connected. Now, they do give you a bunch of wiring harnesses, and since I'm not replacing this bar down here, it's just the same wire. It's just gonna plug back into it because that's not changing. But if you look at the old one, it is different, so it's not gonna be a direct plug and play but it should still work with the wiring that they give you to make it work with this truck. Are actually gonna be able to use this bezel. It's just a lot more complicated than I realized. Uh, we're gonna get to doing that right now. Thank you to, what's his name? Let me just find you on YouTube. I'll give you a shout out. This is the video that helped me figure out what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Seth, however you pronounce that, okay? That's the video that I saw. You kind of went through basically how you're supposed to do it. So let's get to swapping this thing over. You've actually got to remove this trim piece like the other guy explained in his video. 
Remove these push pins for the glove box. And then the sides of the glove box, you can kind of just like push them in and pull down. That comes out. This soft insulation looking piece here, just pop it out. It's just some little clips that unsnap. There'll be a piece that looks like this. It'll be upside down with a wiring harness plugged in here so you won't see this side. And that comes out of right there. It'll be just up there with a the harness plugged in and you'll just take that out. It's two Phillips head screws. Take your new piece and pop that up there in place of it and fasten it back in. Now you're also gonna wanna remove this side panel. My wiring kit might be a little bit different than the video I just referred to. It just pops off with a flathead screwdriver. And then we're gonna get to installing this plate as well. Okay fam, so about 10 hours later, okay, not actually 10 hours, but I would say five. Here's where we're at. So I did end up getting everything done. There's a plate that you connect just one single wire into the center of it, and it just kind of, you put these screw heads, they're not tightened all the way. You probably don't have to tighten them all the way, but I just did. Um, it pops through these, this big hole here, and that bigger hole there. Pops in, and you just slide it down, it locks into place. So then that wire's running up through here, up to that box. And you got a little blue wire here. It runs to a little clear connector that you can't miss. I mean, you just connect it directly into it. Then you got a big thick blue wire here that goes down into this plastic harness. It's the bottom part. So the top will unsnap. This little red clip, you push it in and slide it out. There'll be a little red you know, retaining clip on the inside there that comes out completely. And this big blue wire, you take this one out, it's in the top right corner. It's the big one in the top right corner and the female end of that. You put the new one in there. You ground your little black wire to this 13 millimeter bolt, which zoom out so you can see exactly where it's at. It's just right here around the corner, just below the dash. So now, well, also you had to take this little module up in here and you drop that out and you put that new one up in there. You disconnect this wire here. Well, it'd be this one. You put the new one in there. Um, we're gonna clean all this up, but we're just gonna get on time lapse here of reinstalling it. But other than that, the the stuff up here is super self-explanatory. Just it's the obvious ones that plug in, and the rest of them don't work. Um, but other than that, this is the only stuff that was kind of complicated. I just didn't understand what I was doing. Otherwise, it would have been done in 30 minutes. But remember, what goes on down here in that ground right there? That's the biggest thing. To get your AC to work because that's the only problem that I was having. Everything worked. I'm like, I have no air conditioning. I have no air conditioning. You're like, somebody can't have a truck with no air conditioning. It's a new truck, you know? So I uh, I got that hooked up. Now everything works perfect. Just like a factory Laramie or Limited would have with this system in it. Okay, first startup since finally wiring up the air conditioning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got air conditioning. All the dials work. You can tune the radio. Well, I guess we're looking through contacts right now because we're on that setting. But I'm going to keep the volume off, but tune the radio. It'll work. 105.1 because we're straight. And then here's your climate controls. You can choose you want, you know, face and feet, all feet, you know, defrost, whatever. We're just going to keep it on that setting for now because that's what I prefer, of course. That max AC button, that all works. You got your media. I'm going to turn this down. You got your media for your auxiliary USB. You got your Bluetooth. I mean, just all this stuff. You got navigation in this thing. You can like wear to, you know, and uh, we'll do, let's say, shoot, I don't know. Let's go to Panda Express, you know, and uh, it'll bring up the nearest restaurants, you know. I mean, it, it's great. You know, you can scroll and you got all this. And this is why I bought this system. I love 
the Uconnect systems. I'm not a big fan of like the Ford stuff, the GM stuff. I hate it, I just don't like it. Um, but for me, I mean, this is my preference. This is what I like. I like the Uconnect stuff and I've used, you know, the Ford stuff in my dad's King Ranch and my Platinum that I had. I've used, you know, the GM stuff and like even my wife's Cadillac that I got her. I don't like it as much as I do the Uconnect system. It's just so much better. The, the features are better. The response time is better. Everything's just quick and you've got about a second delay, you know, but that's pretty much it, you know, if you really want to. There's all kinds of crap you can go through and hook up and use. So yeah, I mean, that's a, that's the system. This is a $2,000, uh, $2,200 setup. And the reason I went with that is because if you look at the gauge cluster, it's already like a little bit nicer. So then you got all this stuff that just looks like it goes together. The color tones go together the feel, the vibe. Um, actually, I just realized this. If you look back here, it's got like that brushed aluminum looking background and now it matches that. So, I mean, it's just cool. And that's why I wanted this system. I'm just not a huge fan of the small itty bitty screen. Now, obviously that's what you get when you get a lower trim model truck. It doesn't come with all the fancy stuff. And you can see why sometimes it's just worth paying the extra money to get it as an option from the factory because if you don't, they make sure you pay an arm and a leg if you want to put it in a truck after you buy the cheaper model because they want to try to convince you that next time you buy a truck, just buy the higher trim level instead of paying the extra $2,200 for this setup and paying an extra, you know, a couple thousand for the leather interior and paying an extra couple thousand here and there. Like it just adds up so quick that you're like, oh crap, I could have just spent 10 grand more and then just had all the stuff that I wanted for hundred bucks more a month or whatever. It all depends on how you look at it, but uh, all in all, I'm glad I put the system in here. I think whoever ends up owning this truck and winning this truck, because you know, you can right now at lmpgear.com, you're gonna just much more appreciate the interior of the truck and the feel of the truck now that it looks a little bit more complete and it looks like a better higher trim level truck because it does just have so many nice little features and this is just gonna make it that much better. So that's it for the new Uconnect system install. Didn't really get a super step-by-step, but all I'm gonna say is hooking up the wiring behind this is super easy. Two screws pop out up here, and then you just disconnect and reconnect with your new harness. And a lot of those are the exact same ones that are already installed, you just reconnect them. In terms of the actual connections to the radio, they're the exact same. And then the connections down to like the climate control and all that stuff, there's like one plug and that's it. There's not two anymore. You just basically wire up the rest of the stuff which is under the glove box. You gotta take the glove box out, but other than that, I mean, that's really it. It's not that hard. But here's the truck in its current state. We're so close to having this thing done. There's only one more thing we're really missing about this truck to finish it off and just really give it the look and feel that we're wanting. And that's the leather interior. But other than that, I mean, actually I'll give you a little bit further back view of the Uconnect system. This thing's a stud and it could be yours. Just think about it. Just. Just picture this truck in your driveway with $5,000 in the cup holder and imagine the smile that would be on your face. And then now that you've got that image in your head, you should probably head on over to lmpgear.com and get your entries because for the first week only, every $5 is 10 entries to win. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are absolutely awesome. I couldn't do it without you guys. And oh yeah, for the people that are interested in winning a Hellcat, information in the description below, and website link down below as well. But for the most part, follow that YouTube channel for all those updates because this is really about the trucks over here. Anyways guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Loud and Proud Diesel Giveaway 16 is here, and this is a unique one. It's a six-speed manual with only 25,000 miles on it. It's a 2015, and we're giving it away. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to lmpgear.com, click the link above or below, grab a few items off the store, check out, and you're automatically entered to win this truck.